I'm not, you know, the classic Silicon Valley CEO. You know, I think that for me, I used to believe that that meant that I could never really achieve what they achieved, that there were certain parts of the world, certain um, levels of success, certain levels of business that were just going to be too big for me. It's like, how could I dare say I'm going to run an energy company? Mm. Like that I'm going to build wealth for a community. Like who, who the hell am I? I made the mistake freshman year of college of going in and having no goals. Freshman year, you know, I actually did horrible in class uh, because I didn't know my goals of what I wanted to achieve academically. Um, I let my body fall apart. I just, I let my, I lost myself. And because of that, I realized that I'm the kind of person who needs to work to know herself and consistently keep track of who she is. In the end, you know, it's about recognizing the value in our own struggle, being appreciative and aware of our privilege um, so that we can have empathy for others and their experience, it can, we can bridge the gap for them. Um, and then being able to take all of that and own it. Say, this is who I am. This is who I am. Hello, who to who you are and to who you are, that's great, but this is who the fuck I am. Take it or leave it like, I know that no matter what happens, if I stay who I am, I will feel good about it at the end of the day. The only thing that's going to be constant in this ever-changing world is who I am. I understand what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing it for. I know what I'm fighting for. I understand the steps in, ter in terms of what's involved to make sure that I never lose sight of what I'm fighting for. So everything else is just kind of going through the motions, the motions that I, I know to be valuable. I can hear the, I, the advice of a lot of different people and say, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is what I want to do. Mm. Um, and I'll stand by it. I will never blame someone for my decisions. No, it's my life. Conflict, fight back. Mm. I'm saying this, put together your thoughts logically and come back at me. Like I want you to convince me that I'm wrong. Like find the holes in my argument, find the gap in my thinking. It's like, here's my strategy, and I am prepared to do what it takes to stay alive. Like, I, what I tell my investors is like, all you need to know is that I will be standing at the end of this match. That's it. And like, if I have to all of a sudden do an uppercut that I've never done, or like switch to Southpaw out of nowhere, hey, I'll do what I have to do, because I'm gonna win this fight. In the end, say whatever you want to say about someone's fighting style, if they won, they won. Wanting very much to make sure that little girls who look like me believe that they can do anything um, and believe that they can do more than just media and entertainment in particular and believe in the value of their perspective. And so that's what gets me up in the morning. And then everything else, the details, is like it kind of, I can push through that day. And what I found is that instead of trying to live a successful life, if you aim to have a successful day, if you have 13 out of the 24 hours of your day, if you won those hours, you won the day. And if you win most of the days in a week, you won the week, you know, we're, we just need a simple majority here. If you win, you know, most of the weeks in a month, there you go, most of the months in a year, most of the years, and, and all of a sudden, look at that, without even trying, you've been able to kind of get somewhere. When I say, you know, I know who I am, I guess the, the unsaid portion though is like, and then for the things I don't know about myself, I'm open to finding out. And so I think the idea is to think about our lives as a constant research experiment. Who I thought I was and what I thought I wanted um, when I was 19 is to a certain extent similar, to, you know, now, but there's also a lot of a lot of difference in the nuances and the details of the execution. And I think what it is is that like we, we all have a core that like is our soul, that is our kind of ethos that we're born with, that's, that's our ethical nature that we get from our families and our friends and like our, where we grew up that, you know, ideally and hopefully it's good. And I think that nugget, that's always unchanging and you have to figure out who that is, what, you know, what that is inside of you as soon as possible. And I've always been a very reflective person. I've always been someone who 
will ask myself, you know, every six weeks or so, am I happy? Just, and it's a really simple thing. It's just like, the answers are either yes or no. And if it's a no, it's like, okay, well, am I doing things that while right now, maybe I'm not like blissfully happy, are working towards something that I know will make me happy. You know what I mean? Like, and am I generally happy with the idea of the trade-offs that I'm making right now or that I have to deal with? You know, does that make me happy? And if that's a yes, it's like, okay, cool. But if it's still a no, it's like, oh, stop everything. Nope, this doesn't make sense. But so with that, you come back, you're like, okay, I need a solution. And so I started doing the check-in, which I do just, it's more like you can sense if you take some time to be quiet, you can sense when you're not in equilibrium. And then that's when you ask. That's it. Just running, 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 running without taking a, a time to just know where you are. I mean, then there's probably gonna be other symptoms where you're just overeating or overdoing this or not sleeping. Like, you, people will be able to tell you, yeah, you don't look balanced if you asked. I was able to stay who I am by being open to learning about who I am from those who had been working to figure out themselves as well. And I, I think it, it takes a certain sense of humility to be willing to, to listen to those people. But also I think it, it takes a certain sense of logic, I guess, and just like dynamic thinking to realize that what they're telling you is simply part of your full concept of yourself, not the all, you know, not the total of it. And, you know, it is your life, it is your unique perspective, it is who you are that has brought you here. So anyone who invests in you is going to want you to be who you are. They're going to have to trust that being who you are, even if it's different from who they are, that that's going to be the thing that's going to take this to the next level, no matter what. And I think for me, that was, that was the critical piece of advice, right? Like we all need someone to say the thing that's been so obvious, but we've just been too head down to, to realize. You know, we all have our struggle, regardless of who we are, whether you're male or female, black, orange, green, who cares? We all have our struggle and we all have our privilege. You know, I consider it a privilege to be born of Nigerian parents. Like that to me is privilege to have parents who believe in you <laughs> irrationally so. You know, I feel, I feel privileged to have gone to the, the schools I've gone to, right? But in the end, you know, it's about recognizing the value in our own struggle, uh, being appreciative and grateful for what you have and the life you have. You, you want to give back, you want to make the most out of it, and you want to make sure that on your last day you don't have regrets because that to me is the only solution you know, to death is accepting it. And so being 100% just focused on profit, in the end, if you have to look in the mirror, you know, you have to be with just yourself when you close your eyes at night. If that's, if that's, if that completes you, dope, dope. So, I mean, and again, I try not to be too prescriptive in what people, you know, I can only speak for myself and, and what I understand in my limited number of years on this planet about life, but I don't think there's anyone who said on their deathbed, so glad I made that billion dollars. We live in, in a world that's so complicated that it's not enough to just say, oh, well, one of us succeeded or there's one example. Like it's going to take so many different things happening to really shift the way we not only learn how to love each other, but learn how to love ourselves. The solution the, the, to the world's problems, because I, I truly believe that there's Given how complex our problems are, there is no one person or company that's going to solve all of them. The only chance that we have is if as many people as possible are engaged and feel empowered to be part of that solution. jungle.